seems, well, unusually calm. Shh, keep it down. Uh, oh, sorry. Peace and quiet is an important daily part of daily life at the zoo. A calm atmosphere with relaxed and happy animals is what every zoo works hard to achieve. <coughs> However, there is one group of animals that just doesn't seem to understand the meaning of peace. What are you yammering about? Or quiet, for that matter. Zip it, you. Who, me? Beat it, Bozo. The baboons are the biggest family at the zoo, and safe to say, they make the most noise. Noise? I don't understand what everyone's problem is. The dominant male is Woody. I'm a calm and reasonable guy. We all are. Hey, hey Uncle Woody, could you help me with my algebra? What? Why, are you lazy little... Uh, can't you see I'm busy here? Keeper Case has the unfortunate job of keeping these pesky primates quiet. She'll try anything. I'm just hanging up this wind chime for the baboons today. Oh, my gosh, not the wind chimes. Baboons are pretty good. They pretty much like most things. No, we don't. Oh, make it stop. But it's not just each other they shout at. Their neighbors get it in the neck, too. Hey, you, little guy. Who, me? Yeah, you. What even are you? A gorilla that got shrunk in the wash? <laughs> like a micro-gorilla? <laughs> ah, don't listen to them. But talking of gorillas... On Gorilla Island, Jurgen doesn't look too pleased with the baboons either. I can't bear this noise. It's really disturbing me. I'm trying to read my book, you know. Boss, that is not a book. It's a cardboard box. Oh, shut up, Jeffy. <sighs> Where was I? Ah, yes, chapter one. Effective leadership for gorillas. <laughs> Can you believe it? What? He thinks he can read. Read? That knucklehead? <sighs> We're all trying to get some sleep over yeah. here. Ah, oh, no. I can hear them all the way up here. Hey, zip it, pencil neck. Yeah, you overgrown horse. It seems the baboons are annoying everyone at the zoo. What are you talking about? A solution to this noisy neighbor problem needs to be found. And fast. What are you talking about? There's no problem here. Yeah. No problem. Hmm. Perhaps the answer can be found over in Seal Cove, which seems to be a picture of tranquility. I wonder what their secret is. Hey, Clara, what are you up to? Oh, I'm playing with Lee. He's great. He gives me balls. Woohoo! A frisbee. <laughs> we play on a body board. We have so much fun. Hmm. So Lee's key to peace and quiet is giving you lots of things to play with. Uh-huh. Called enrichment. <laughs> All the keepers do it. Oh, really? Oh, hey, Lewis. Hi, right. Fine, thanks. Yeah. Um, can you tell me about enrichment? Yeah, so enrichment is something that we do uh, mostly every day for especially the primates. You are my favorite. So anything that's really intelligent needs to be kept busy. Uh, and mentally sort of active. Hey, you hear that, buddy? What's that? He says we're smart. Keeping the animals occupied keeps the keepers busy, too. It's so cool. I love it. They seem to enjoy it just as much as the animals. Yeah, it's awesome. I Lee, let us have a go. Back at Baboon Rock, Keeper Kate is trying her own style of enrichment. Having failed with the wind chimes, she's giving the petulant primate some, uh, Broom heads. Hmm. Time to find out if they can keep the baboons quiet. What is it? Hey, guys! It's not bristles! Guys! Ah, mm, tastes good. Hey, give no, me yours. mine. Get off. Guys! What is it? Looks like a hairbrush. Wait! Can you do my back? Oh, looks like it might have worked. Hey, guys! Look down there. Those things are what they use to sweep up all the poop! What they the They use them for sweeping the poop? Hair, hair, you stupid boom bag. What are they playing at? That's, That's disgusting. disgusting. I'm not oh, touching oh, it. Oh, disgusting. Yeah. No. What do you take us for? Animals? Yeah! yeah. 
Meanwhile, over on Gorilla Island, Kurgan is still struggling to concentrate. <sighs> the noise is getting worse. It's really distracting me from my book, Jeffrey. Hmm? It's very interesting, you know. I'm on chapter two already. Boss, for the last time, that is cardboard. Whatever it is, Jeffrey, those manky foghorns are spoiling my enjoyment. Anyway, cardboard is underrated. It has many uses. You could eat it, wear it, drum with it, and smash it up. But mostly, I like to read. Oh, right. Cardboard is your secret to peace and quiet, eh? Yeah! Hmm. Well, over on Baboon Rock, Kate and her team seem to have taken a leaf out of Jurgen's uh, cardboard uh, book, too. I must say, though, it does just look like somebody's emptied their rubbish bin all over the place. Well, anyway, time to find out if cardboard is the answer to the boisterous baboon problem. The cardboard's out, the baboons are ready. Hey, they got us presents! What's in it? Oh, it's a cereal box. That's empty. Wait a second. There's nothing here. It's just cardboard. I thought I had a pizza. It's empty, too. Oh, what a swiss. It's all garbage. Oh, Seriously? Dear, that doesn't seem to have worked at all. It doesn't look like the baboons are ever going to be kept quiet, which is definitely bad news for the rest of the zoo. Oh, will they ever be quiet? I don't think those guys are ever going to quit it. How am I meant to rhyme with that gibbering all the time? Oh, I just did a rhyme. Yeah, that wasn't a bad one. But I know what you mean. I'm getting a bit of a headache myself. I think I'll head over to Penguin Beach. There's always a nice, relaxed vibe there. Just soak it up, dude. What did you say? I dozed off. Yo, yo, you seem really chilled out. What's your secret? Well, it's all about the bubbles. Bubbles are amazing. We get them up here on the beach. Oh, wow. Look at them. Whoa, they're so pretty. Like magic. We even get them underwater, too. Really? Uh, how? Wow. Is that a bubble gun? That is impressive. The penguins seem to be really enjoying it. Derek, uh, what do you think the baboons would make of bubbles? Derek? The, the, the bubbles and, and the baboons. The, you can't hear me, can you? Uh, ah, yo-yo, I'll get some sense out of you. Do you think the baboons would like bubbles? Do you really think you'd get a baboon in this tank? No, that, that's not what I meant. I, uh, oh, never mind. Back on Baboon Rock, things have gone from bad to worse. Come over here, you! Hey, get off of me! Who's that? Was that you? No, it was him! What? Oh, make it stop. It's giving me a headache, dude. Oh, I know, Dave. I've already read one page since this morning. Oh, you're a gorilla. You can't read. Oh, shut up, Jeffrey. Look, I need to take this library book back by the end of the week. Otherwise, I'll get a five cabbage fine. <sighs> back on Baboon Rock, it's time for one last ditch attempt to settle the rowdy residents. Having tried wind chimes, brushes, and cardboard, Kate has one last trick up her sleeve. And this is it. Is that it? A bubble machine? Yeah, a bubble machine. What's wrong with that? It worked for the penguins. Yo, let me get this straight. The solution to the noisy baboon problem is that toy bubble machine? Man, you must be joking. Let us out! It's hotter than a jalapeno's armpit in here. Yeah. 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 What are those? It's a giant swarm of you have to over there! They're gonna get us! They're up here too! They're gonna get us! They keep disappearing and rematerializing! Oh. 
Ah. Well, that didn't really go to plan. But on the upside, at least peace and quiet has been restored around the zoo. <sighs> oh, that's better. My ears have stopped ringing. And Jurgen can finally enjoy his... his book. <sighs> About time. Now, where was I? Uh, hold on. Where is chapter three? Uh, is this it? Man, <laughs> I think I just wiped my butt with it. What? Sorry, dude. We were, like, so out of toilet paper. Oh, I hate you, Dave. Oh, bada, 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 bada.